Cannabis edibles will legally be available for sale mid-December, and regulations for the products will come into effect this Thursday. Today, we're at Ollie, a local business specializing in cannabis-infused teas and edibles, and we asked them all about what it takes to get these products on shelves. We have five uh, teas and three edibles that we've been working on. No cannabis in these specialty tea blends, fruit chews, or cookies just yet. But that's the plan come late December, as Ollie becomes one of many local businesses preparing for the legalization of edibles. We're not sort of the average edible that a lot of people have experienced in the past. We really want to have something that's a bit more sophisticated, a bit more um, elevated. So this is the production part of our facility. So we got a tour of the 11,000 square foot facility in Etobicoke, where Ollie will prepare and package its products once it's licensed. What has the regulation process and the licensing process been like for you? Um, it's been challenging and it started a long time ago. While they received their research license in July, they're now waiting for their processing license under review with Health Canada. Bigger players like Vivo already licensed and making cannabis-infused Belgium chocolates. So there's a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate. Then there's some with caramel. None of them have cannabis yet, right? None of them with okay. cannabis. So I'm going to try it's one. Pure chocolate. <laughs> Mmm, it's really good. I'll make you feel good. It'll taste great. Mm -hmm. It has a terrific texture, uh, super premium product. While edibles become legal on Thursday, all products will be under a 60-day review period, so not available for sale till the end of the year. Both companies say one of their priorities is to make sure the products don't appeal to children, what experts are calling a key challenge for the government. And making sure that these products are not overly appealing to people who are underage. How do you do that with these products? I, I noticed you, you call them fruit chews and not you know, gummies. Naming our products, the color of our products, the color of our packaging all go into account when we're planning our recipes and planning our products. The CBD and THC levels will vary with each product depending on what the consumer is looking for. Starting at one milligram of THC or CBD up to 10, which is the max, the numbers will all be clearly displayed on labels. We're packaging these products two per package. Each one has five milligrams of THC. Okay. So we hope that you won't go much beyond one package. Five milligrams, ten milligrams might not mean much to someone who doesn't know a lot about cannabis. How will they know when to stop? They don't have an immediate impact. Mm -hmm. They take uh, roughly an hour to kick in. So you would really need to be careful and uh, go slow with it and actually enjoy it, but don't overdo it. Tomorrow on City News, we'll speak with a health expert about the impact of edibles. And for more on our legalization coverage, you can head to our website, citynews.ca.